this is me and Molly out for our morning coffee this morning. Uh, I just got up this morning, found out the schools will still be closed today because of the tropical depression Jenny that went across. So we're out here just having a little bit of coffee and some uh, Royal Bipinka. Royal Bipinka. And you know, people ask me how we met. You want me to give my version or your version? No, I don't want. <laughs> you don't want. Huh? <laughs> huh? I don't know your verse. I don't. Know. My version. I was stationed over, in, or not stationed. I was over at, uh, in Kuwait working, and uh, I got invited to a like a party one night, I guess a, it wasn't really a party, it was just a, uh, get that out of the way, it was a uh, get together of guys and stuff like that, so I went and there was this uh, Filipino lady that met me there and uh, we went out and we started talking and She's saying how she knew this such a lovely lady that would love to meet me and everything and asked me if you know if she wanted me to call her and everything so I think we I think we called you that night. Yeah we called you that night. I don't know, don't remember. I know we called you that night. And you said no. <laughs> you said no you didn't want to meet me. So I said, Well that's fine, I didn't want to meet her anyway, so but anyways, I did eventually go down and I asked uh, the lady, I said, where does uh, Molly work at? And she told me where she worked at. So I went down there and uh, right across from her work was a little coffee shop. So I went down and uh, bought her coffee. And then I walked over and saw you after I got the coffee for you, I think. That's correct, right? But when I walked in the store and tried to say hello to her, what happened? I don't know. <laughs> Man, you don't know anything. I'm glad I got a good memory. I'm, I'm not as old as what she is, so I got a better memory. You know, she, she's got me beat by about six months, so <laughs> I got a lot better memory. I think she's got a memory, she just don't want to share her memories. You won't share anything? But anyways, I I walked in the store and she said something probably in Filipino or something that was, oh my goodness, look at that ugly guy coming in here to see me. So I don't know if she actually said that or not, but anyways, we it's hard to talk with glutinous rice. Now you have to tell the rest of the story because you gave me that glutinous rice and it's like gum. Yeah, it's glutinous. But anyways, after we met that night, she still wouldn't go out with me. So she told her friend the only way she'd go out with me is if she double dated with uh, her. So the friend was Annabelle and uh, we decided we'd go on a double date and we'd go to Chicken Tikka. Chicken Tikka in Kuwait right across from the Sultan Center in Salmiya. So that's where we ended up going and to this day, well Molly and Annabelle have been together for what? Eight years, ten years. Ten years already, right? Mm -hmm. You've been in Kuwait for how long? Eight years. No, how long have you been in Kuwait? Total. Total 20 years? 20 years when yeah. I met you. So Molly had already been in Kuwait 20 years and uh, her and Annabelle had been together for eight of those 20 years. So after we started seeing each other, then we kind of uh, all stuck together. Uh, Annabelle married one of my, one of my good friends and 
<laughs> we kind of moved in together in an apartment together and we lived there together uh, for a while and we just until our family started to grow then we kind of separated but until our family started growing we all lived together in one uh, hey. Will you live in states first for how many this is only after this is after we met. So I'm yeah. Oh, well, that's true. I had to go. The the contract ended in Kuwait, and uh, I went back with another company back to the states to work Hurricane Katrina. So I left her, and uh, she thought I was just like every other American, you know, leave and gone, huh? Yep. Never come back again. So. Eventually, I did come back to Kuwait, and I met back up with Molly again, and that's when uh, we we were living separate from Kevin and Annabelle then, right? No. For a little bit. Yeah, for a little bit. So I got that place in uh, Salmiya, mm -hmm. and then we stayed in there, and then we finally... Uh, like I said, as the family grew, we kind of went our separate ways. But the funny thing is, you, Molly called Kevin Daddy, right? Yeah. Why'd you call him Daddy? I don't know why. I don't know why, but she called Kevin Daddy, and that kind of stuck. So her parents are passed on my parents are passed on so kids really don't have any grandparents but Kevin and Annabelle have taken that place and they've been the grandparents for Sammy and Matthew and Megan that's all they've ever known uh, Annabelle by and Kevin by his grandpa and grandma so that's where they where you hear that from so if you're looking at our videos and you see grandma and she's a she looks about as young as we do, then that's how you know that we're, it's not the real grandma, but it's it's a grandma that has been taking the role and they've accepted that role and they've, uh, they've just been like a, a true grandparent or grandmother and grandfather to these kids. So they've been helpful to them and, you know, Christmas time and, birthday times they're always supportive of the kids so we appreciate that so but that's how we met uh, interesting story for some I guess maybe not so interesting for others Molly would have helped me out a little bit it might would have been more interesting but she won't tell you what she said when she first saw me or anything else like that <laughs> so I kind of hope she'd say that but Maybe like now, she just sneezed and it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, but anyways, that's how we met, and that's the story I'm sticking with. <laughs> really, man? The first time I saw you, yeah. Oh, is that, is that American? Oh my gosh, American! Yeah. Is that it? I am with Rachel before, you remember? Mm -hmm. She passed me there, and she passed me there. Because she's working in Layla Gallery, and I'm working in Boston. Yeah. Boston Complex. Yeah. Then you came. Yeah. So, anyways, that's how we met. Molly, uh, Molly's not going to get too excited about how we met, so hopefully, hopefully for the next. I just don't want to share. Oh, uh, she just don't want to share how we met. I'm, I'm more open with our relationship.